Hey folks, I hope you're doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about how to enter your items and then print your tags for the sale. So the first thing you're going to do is go to nearlynewfish.com and then go to sign in in the top right. It's going to take you to your consigner dashboard. You're going to choose the location that you're registered for. So I'm going to select Greenville right here and you're going to type in the consigner number that you received when you registered. Then type in the password that you created. You're going to go to log in. It takes you to your consigner homepage here. So you're going to select menu and go down to work with consigned inventory. Your consigned inventory is everything that you're going to bring to the sale. So you're going to go to add items here and I'm on a PC. So I'm going to select PC laptop version there. Uh, a really good tip is when you're entering, when you're starting to enter your stuff, start with your, your bigger, higher demand stuff first. And that way, if life happens and you run out of time and don't get everything entered, at least you've got your, your big stuff in and it's more bang for your buck. So the first thing I'm going to enter, I've got a, a Paw Patrol tower with uh, some accessories. So I'm going to select toys here. Uh, it doesn't have a size on it. So I'm going to leave that at zero. You want to be as specific as you can in your description. That way, if a tag comes off of an item, we can do an inventory search and we can find what item that tag belongs to. This one has um, some accessories. So I'm going to include that in my description as well. I'm going to ask 40 for this. Uh, you can also choose whether you want it to be discounted. Uh, the last day of the sale is going to be half price. If you select that box there, it'll go down to 50% off. Uh, if you want to donate your item at the end of the sale, you can select item can be donated right there. Once you get everything filled out, just go to submit item right there. And you can see I've got one item entered right down here. So the next thing I'm going to enter, I'm going to do uh, some clothes here. Um, It really helps if you organize everything that you're tagging by category, gender, and size. It's going to save you a lot of time when you're entering. It's going to save time when you're attaching tags. It's also going to save a lot of time when you're dropping your items off as well. All right, so this is a five. And so this is a, uh, it's an outfit. children's place outfit uh, with it's a tank top and shorts that have uh, ice cream on them as well I'm going to ask 250 for that I'm going to discount that as well and so what it does is it it defaults back to the category and the size that you entered previously. That's where it's going to save a lot of time. So I've got that entered. So the next thing I'm going to enter is a skirt. Uh, the brand is Jumping Beans and it is a navy skirt. I'm going to ask 250 for that as well and I'm going to discount that as well. So we're going to hit submit item. We've got that one entered. The next thing I'm going to enter is a pair of shoes. And these are size seven. They're cat and jack uh, brown Velcro shoes. Are going to specify that these are new, they've never been worn. All right, the next thing I'm going to enter is going to be a book. Uh, again, this the size you can just leave it zero, and you always want to put the title of the book in. And I'm going to ask a dollar for the book, and I am going to discount that on Sunday as well. All right, and the last thing I'm going to enter is going to be a, like one of those magnetic responsibility charts. I'm 
I'm going to do educational for that category. Again, I don't need to put a size in. I'm going to also in the description say that it comes with magnets as well. This one I'm going to ask for 54 and I am going to choose to discount that one as well. You're going to hit submit item. All right. So now I'm going to show you how you can print your tags once you once you have a batch entered. Um, you know, I find it easier to do it in smaller batches. They, the tags print six to a page, so kind of keep that in mind as you're entering. All right. So now I'm going to go to print tags right down here and then I'm going to click check, uncheck all, and it's going to show, it's going to check all the things we just entered. Um, you can also click this show only unprinted tags below. That way it won't bring up all of your inventory. It'll bring up everything that you did in that batch there. All right. So printing tag options, I'm going to hit print selected tags right here. That's what we want to do. Yes. Uh, and so now you can see that all my tags are displayed on my browser. If this window does not come up, you might have a, a, a pop-up blocker going on. Um, if you get a message saying, you know, that, that you've blocked a pop-up, click that message and hit allow pop-ups from mycellmanager.net and then it'll let you bring this up. And then from here, all you're going to do is hit control P and then you're going to select your printer and then hit print and they will print out six to a page. Uh, you definitely want to, you def, you want to use cardstock for this um, so that your tags will stay on. So I want to show you a couple of more things on your consigner homepage here. You can see that I've registered and I've agreed to the seller agreement. I've paid my consigner fee. Um, I have not signed up for a drop off appointment. That's very important that you do that. So select that there and then it'll give all of the drop off appointments that we have available. If it says open, then you can drop off. If it says full, then that appointment is full. Uh, some other things that are super helpful, team memberships. Um, our team members earn more. Uh, if you work one shift, you can earn 5% more. Uh, if you work five or more shifts, you can earn up to 80% of what your items sell for. You also get the opportunity to shop first. Um, our team members get to shop Wednesday, the, uh, the pre-sale in the morning, and then the benefit sale starts in the afternoon. Uh, during the sale, you can look at your estimated earnings right here. And then if you click this link right here, you can view a list of your sold items. All right, folks. Well, we certainly do appreciate you tuning in and checking us out. Uh, check out our next video. And what we'll do is I'm going to attach these six items to the uh, these six tags to the items that we entered. So come check that one out. I appreciate you for joining us.